What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Que rollo con todos ustedes? Wow, it's Monday. It's a beautiful Monday for the beautiful Cheese Man um, we have here today. Damn, how was everyone's weekend? My weekend, bro. Let, let me just let me just get this off the bat. My weekend was was uh, exciting. If you're on the supporters group, you know what went down over there. Um, but <laughs> I'm away from where people come in, and then we'll. We'll we'll talk about this a little bit for like two minutes, but uh, hopefully you guys got notified. Let's get started uh, with a new week of cheese man. As always, you guys know there's guys there's always cheese man, right? There's always cheese man in the Facebook community, and we love it. We're we're here for it. Hello, guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you guys for joining today's show. Hello from Avondale. Shout out Avondale. Um, but yeah, let's. Okay, you guys are you guys are popping in real quick. Okay, hello everyone, hello. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, this is a little cheese man. What happened over the weekend? Like I said, if you're in my supporters group, you guys know what the hell went down this weekend on over there, which was funny. But if you guys are not, let me just recap you a little bit of what happened. Not gonna tell you everything, but basically, over at supporters, we literally had a person, a rat. That paid to get in the supporter group. <laughs> Bro, it was just so funny. This person does not like me either. And they paid. They paid me $5 to see if I'm over there talking about them, which... Bro, whatever, bro. You pay me five dollars. It's Gucci. You could stay there if you want. Um, I believe after I called them out, they um uh, they left, and I'm like, bro, you paid five. You should have just stayed the whole month. You should have just stayed the whole month. But if you guys aren't supporters, you guys know oh, what the heck I'm talking about. If you're not, there you go. That was a little cheese man I had for y'all. Um, hold on. Let me let me try to fix something here. Um, because I totally forgot to change. The settings for y'all. Um, no, I don't think I could change it now after this. Okay, I can't change it. Okay, never mind. Um, someone said, "No, I'm not gonna give any names. I'm not gonna even give any names whatsoever. You guys could speculate and uh, do all that." But um, someone said, "Not them asking their bank for a refund, bro." I was cracking up. I was literally cracking up, like. You're not that important to this Facebook community, dude. Um, but yes, this person really doesn't like me. And they paid they paid money to see if we were talking about them over there. I'm like, <laughs> okay, thank you for the $5. But anyways, welcome back, guys, to another week of the Cheese Man. Um, today, we're going to be talking about something interesting that went down in, uh, in Panama. And uh, other things that... Miss Jessica Spoil did over the weekend, which I thought I thought it was kind of interesting. But while we have over 700 people here, let's just get started with the cheese man. If you're just joining, we haven't started. OK, we're just getting started. Uh, but anyways, let's get started, because apparently something went down in Panama. Uh, thank you for the stars. Whoever sent those appreciate it or no, wait, actually, it's oh, never mind. I heard the wrong thing. <laughs> um, so something went down in Panama. And so Jessica went live, right? Jessica went live. And there was an incident where she was live. And you hear an influencer by the name of, I believe, Life with Anya, if I'm not mistaken. But if you guys don't know who I'm talking about. This is her right here. Right here. Uh, but anyways, you hear her in the background yelling. I don't know who the heck she's yelling at. Um, it seems... Like, um, after I saw Jessica's video, it seemed like something happened in the boat that we're in. But, uh, yeah, Jessica comes out and says, yo, I'm never doing this again. She's not getting on boats. Apparently, she got sick. I know that's a thing uh, when you get, what's it called? Seasick? Boat sick? I think it's seasick, right? Uh, but anyways, here what uh, here's what Jessica had to say about this boat ride sitting up the top at first it was getting wet wet so fucking so because i was sitting on the floor no big deal wet and i was like after a little bit because i couldn't fucking see because it was so like the waves were splashing i was like let me just go fucking downstairs where my shit is and literally i needed assistance by two full full ass men because it was so fucking choppy to get me down i fucking broke three nails on the way my freaking sunglasses flew off whatever it is what it is right i finally get down in my seat and 
I started, like, 10 minutes go by, I'm feeling fucking sick, guys, because there's no wind, there's nothing. I start hearing, like, commotion. I'm like, what's going on, what's going on? They're like, people are fucking puking everywhere. Yeah. So I fucking empty out my Lorella fucking bag. I fucking puke my brains out. Which is whatever. Thank God I had a fucking bag, but no one... <laughs> I like how she's kind of exaggerating. Though. I puke my brains out. But damn, a lot of people got sick then. I had a bag, and then I start hearing Anya yelling in the back for this and that. And people having commotion. So I was actually worried at first when there was a commotion because I thought something happened to Anya. She, like, flew off or something. But I, but then I heard her voice. I was like, okay, the bitch is alive. So I go back there fucking, like... I'm, like, puking out the fucking back door. She was left. I don't let her tell this whole story. In the back, in the fucking trash. Not even in a seat, guys. She was not even on a seat this entire ride. Two and a half hours. And she's yelling just to get a fucking towel. No one would, like, they... She just wanted to tell because the waves were literally, guys, were crashing over her, crashing over her, crashing over her. Like, I am soaked from, like, I literally was not, like, I was dry as a bone getting on this. Mm-hmm. So there I am, like, trying to help her. Though, thank God this fucking lifeguard was there because he was, hold, like, holding her the whole two hours. Like, the fucking boat, guys, when you see my footage, was, like, fucking like this. Like I said, this is all Mother Nature's motherfucking fault. Honestly, except for where they put Anya. Yeah, and all she wanted was a bat, like, a... She just wanted to pee and have a towel, and there I am trying to like console her with the guy who doesn't speak English, was which was amazing by the way, but it was very hard to communicate. And I'm fucking puking as the waves are f- crashing in the boat. It was so fucking bad. I'm sorry, Liam, if you ever watch this, I don't know if I can ever fucking go on a boat again after that experience. Like I, that was the worst fucking. I, I didn't think I could get that fucking sick from a boat, but motherfucker, I can get so fucking sick. And then, oh yeah, I'm just pissed. Yeah, so here in the background, you could hear Anya yelling. I don't, I can't make what she's yelling or who she's yelling at. Um, but I see a lot of comments. Um, I don't know why my comments froze on my screen. So I'm, I'm basically on my phone looking at the comments. Um, but I'm seeing comments, yo, they're in a paid trip and uh, complaining. I mean, it does seem that way, but also it seems like they're just complaining about the boat ride, about Mother Nature. Um, I believe jessica goes on and uh, says you know lorella had nothing to do with this blah 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 and uh yeah just mother nature basically <laughs> blaming mother nature but yeah if you could hear carefully uh anya's in the background yelling i don't know who she's yelling at but let's try to see if we could hear I'm not, i'll let her do her thing but she's she's pissed because she was left to buy a fucking trash bags on the back of the boat shivering to death fucking shivering but literally for me venting is literally mother nature that was it mother nature and a motherfucking boat i will never no the weather's fine the weather is fine guys it's i guess it's just how the trade winds happen like you can tell it was bright sunny 90 degrees and then at first we start hitting some fucking bum okay someone's saying she's yelling at the workers and alex okay so alex is i believe the owner of lorella um all right and then it got fucking bad like it was nothing to do with anything though except mother nature oh my <laughs> gosh hold on guys i just saw a comment that anya had black eyes fr- from the water hitting her so bad is that true i know i saw a picture but i didn't know that was from the water bro that okay let me see if i can find the picture i'll show you guys here but let's continue with this video <laughs> I'll let Anya tell her side, because I mine's just Mother Nature. Hers is a whole nother fucking thing. Like, hers, that I feel so fucking bad for her, guys. When I found her in the back, curled up, fucking freezing, she was, her eyes are fucking bloodshot, crying so fucking bad, because she's fucking trapped. I literally made her a poncho out of a trash bag, because I finally found one to warm her up. And then, um, this, a nice person gave us towels, but holy fucking shit, Mother Nature. I'm going to let her... T- I'll let her. I'll let her tell her thing, but I am fucking seasick, bro. I never thought I would be fucking like I am fucking sea motherfuckers. Like, I filmed the boat, guys. And you can you'll, you'll be able to see it. I know. I, so I'm not sure if uh, Anya was complaining because that boat was not like for. Because if you guys don't know, she is in a wheelchair. So I don't know if that's the case, but uh, damn, I could just imagine if there was actually big ass waves, just her wheel, her wheelchair just jumping. I don't know if she actually just got off of it or sat down and just stayed in the wheelchair. I don't know, but I could imagine that, which does not seem fun at all whatsoever. You filled up my my little mesh Lorella bag. Yeah. 
you could I hear. I know, Anya's going at it, but I'll let her talk about her thing, because mine's just about Mother Nature. Mine is literally just Mother Nature. But I'll let her tell her thing. Mine's Mother Nature. If the boat was smooth, I would have not one complaint, but oh my god, I never thought I could get so seasick, guys. But thank god that lifeguard was there to help her. I... I Yeah, and she's just going off in the background. I feel so bad for Anya. Listen, I hope Anya does come out with a live ex- explaining her side of the story, like what the hell happened on the boat. Because I would, I would want to know. That's, uh, you know, oh, actually, I'm just nosy, but <laughs> interesting. I do want to know what the heck happened to her on the boat. I'm gonna, I'll let her talk about, it, but she, I feel so bad for her. She was already just submerged in water the whole time, and they, they wouldn't move her because of. Wow. I understand the whole safety part, so I'm kind of like torn between both sides. But seeing her, God, that was so bad. That is crazy. That is crazy. Someone also said that she's gonna go on supporters and uh, explain what happened. Well, all right. Uh, I, I guess I gotta bust uh, one of my haters and spend five dollars <laughs> to, or how, however much she charges to see what the heck happened. But yeah, as of right now, that's all we know. Like I said, hopefully Anya does go live with uh, this situation, this matter. But she's just in the background yelling at uh, some people are saying who is Alex, and then the workers. So I don't know. Uh, she just said she was uh, physically on the outside of the boat or of the what? Hold on. Let me read that again. Yeah. Of the boat. Damn. Okay. That's uh, kind of scary. Someone screen recorded at TCR. She's most size. Uh, yeah. So if I have that, I will show you guys that or let you guys know what she said on her side. But another interesting fact or not fact, but another interesting thing that happened this weekend or on the trip is that, um, I can't believe Jessica actually did this. Like she followed through it. Cause me, no, I'm a petty ass mother and I won't do anything like this. Um, but I don't know if you guys remember a page. All right, let me, let me try to pull it up. Um, uh, before I, I start talking about this. But anyways, uh, Jessica went on um, Facebook Live and said, this is a message to my cyber B-U-L-L-Y and said, bro, she said she was going to pay them off and, you know, help them out if they erased all the pictures. And this page, this B-U-L-L-Y, we talked about them here on the platform. And there were another page that were trying to come at me, uh, trying to come at me because I wouldn't bash Jessica. And listen, I know a lot of people come at me because I don't go hard on Jessica whatsoever. But anyways, this page tried to come at me saying, yo, he never bashes Jessica. He's just friends with her, whatever, whatever. But uh, this page, I'm going to show you the page. I'm going to show you the page because it's it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. This is a page right here. Exposing scammers and influencer shenanigans too. So I talked about this page. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to stop laughing because this is what Jessica had to say um, to her, to that page. You know, she she went live and talked about that page. So, yeah, she just listen, y'all just listen. That has been bullying me for over a year. Oh, you couldn't hear the music. Oh, wait, so can I, can I actually go back? Oh, you, could you guys hear the music or no? Oh, well, I'll just hear so you've been bullying me nonstop. There's no legitimate reason. There never really was other than you dislike me. You hate me. What I did sorry guys, to make you hate me, God will never know because honestly, I don't think there really is anything, <laughs> anything enough. Um, I think that um, I ignored you possibly when you were my fan. Uh, and now you turned that into saying, hey, if I can't get attention negatively or positively, I'm going to get it negatively. So someone's saying, uh, isn't this an old admin of Jessica's? I don't know. Uh, Jessica explains here that this was a, a fallen follower. Um, apparently, Jessica didn't pay attention to them and they got mad. So it's like, you know, I'll let it, I'll let Jessica explain. But uh, this is uh, this is a good move. <laughs> this is funny. It, it, it is what it is. But this is not what it's about. 
I am the type of person, I'm not vindictive, I'm not negative, um, and I see that my cyberbully is struggling. You know, I want to tell you, you know I know who you are. You know I've known for a very long time, since I've mailed you things, since we've talked via email, you've denied it, you can, you can, you can keep denying it, and that's okay, but you know that I know who you are. It's, it's a fact, you know that. You went to lawyers because I've scared you because you know I know who you are. You could tell me you don't, but you've slipped up one too many times on social media and you know you have, right? You've given me, even though I knew who you were, you've given me and my lawyers many reasons to know exactly who you are. But that's not what it's about. You know, I know that you're homeless. I know that you're struggling right now. I know that you are saying life is miserable and you do not wish it on anyone. And I know you're going through a lot right now. That's why you're hardly posting on social media because you're living with a friend and you're trying to find a place to stay so you can take the bus to work. I know Isn't that crazy, bro? The the B-U-L-L-Y, Jessica's B-U-L-L-Y, was going through some very difficult shit and she still had the time to dedicate her whole ass page about to Jessica, bro. That that just that's crazy, but it gets better. No, and that's tough. So I want you to know that I still care about you. Although you have tortured me, my family, my friends, you have made me cry, you've hurt me, you've teared me down. For what? I because you you've admitted it. You are miserable. So I want you to know that I still see you. I've always seen you. And if you decide to delete all the photos of me, I would be happy to help you find a place and get you back on your feet. Because I'm not a vindictive person. Now, uh, you see Jessica's too nice, bro. She is too nice. If it was oh, the other way around, who is she talking about? We'll, we'll show you guys a page one once again. But, bro, she is too nice, dude. I, I, my petty ass couldn't do this. No way. I was like, bro, this is your karma. <laughs> this is your karma. But, yo... She's too nice. She's she wants to help a hater out, uh, a fallen a fallen follower. Because like I said, or like she said, this person used to follow Jessica. She she still follows Jessica, or they still follow Jessica. And uh, yeah, I mean, karma, dude. But Jessica's nice, <laughs> helping her out. I'm not an evil person, and if you need help, I will help you. You were a customer of mine. You would enter all my giveaways. You were there. You shared. You know, maybe I didn't say hi. I don't know, but. I just want you to know that if you need help, I will still be there for you. Now, if you write something on your Instagram or you make a big long post about how it's not you and how I'm stupid and how this and that, I'm not going to read it. I have you blocked and everything. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to take the time to read it because I frankly don't care if you're going to post something about me being wrong or lies. I don't care. If you want to talk to me, you have my email where we've always emailed before and we can talk in private. No one needs to know if I did help you or not. That's between you and I. But if you do need the help, just know I am here. And you know that I know who you are. So she she did all this, right? And listen, a lot of people that were followers of that page are going in on the shenanigans page, which let me show you guys. You guys that just hopped on and said, yo, what who is she talking about so she's talking about this page um we're gonna read some comments here because bro people are people are upset so this is a page uh jessica's talking about we've talked about them again um in the past but uh yeah she this is what they put i don't know if you guys could see this hold on let me let me see if i could switch my my camera angle oh well that's not gonna work like that um okay well i'll just read it and if you guys can't see it, well, okay. But this is what uh, this page put out. After after Jessica One Life, this might be, or this might come as a shock to some, but it's time I move my energy to uh, better things. I will be focusing on myself as this new year has already begun. I will miss some of the friendships formed here and look forward to reading updates on all of you. This wasn't an easy decision to make. But I need uh but I need for you all to know it's the best one for me. Thank you again for all your support, Alex. So that's what she put after that. And she deleted everything. She deleted everything on the page, or it could be a guy, I don't know. 
Um, they deleted everything on the page. After that, she started, or they started getting hate. Sorry, I just, I just feel like automatically it's a woman running this page, but you never know. Guys, myself, are nosy as hell too. But she re- received a lot of hate for this. They received a lot of hate for this. Um, so people are speculating that you know Jessica might have paid her off to do this, and now people are coming to me saying, "Yo, hopefully Jessica doesn't pay you off." Listen, Jessica, if you're watching this, I will accept. 12 grand a month from you <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm obviously kidding for those that uh think that me and jessica are buddy buddies um obviously this person took the bait yeah she, they did um but it's just so crazy bro all this all the shit talking they would do on her and just offer them money and they switch like this dude they switch like this. but listen i get it people it's people have hard times uh, they uh jessica alleged that you know she said this person was homeless not sure if that's true or false but damn that happened uh i guess you could say money talks <laughs> money talks <laughs> but listen this is all i could do this is all i could do because bro this this <sighs> don't comfort people dude uh, listen, I know a lot of you guys don't like Jessica. Listen, this is what I want to uh, tell you guys. I I see it. I see the comments. So, uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I invited Jessica over to do a podcast. So make sure you have your questions here. DM me the questions. Ask whatever you want, and we'll we'll ask uh, Jessica. Cause I, bro, I don't know why this this is me. I don't know why a lot of you dislike uh it's like jessica but it is what it is it is what it is um maybe she's uh she maybe she's one of these maybe i don't know but ask we'll we'll ask jessica here on the podcast and see what the heck is going on but yeah that's just what i found interesting uh this page they switched up real quick once money was put on the table like i said people hella struggle in life um so yeah uh okay hold on i want to see this someone <laughs> someone said they would not be watching that episode cool that's fine podcast may not be for you understandable um okay so let's let, let's jump into the next thing i have here because um most of you guys a lot of you guys actually were sending me this video slash tagging me and we're, this is a maybe drama because a lot of people still think this is fake with her and chosen which it's kind of understandable. Uh, we've seen May do a lot of fake shit. Well, allegedly, right? A lot of fake stuff for views or whatever. But I, if, like I said, I'm being what real. If I- oh, shit. If I'm being real, I don't, bro, I don't think so. But May goes on live and uh, she cries. Apparently, I don't know if she's texting with Chosen or she's just reading text. She cries on live. And yeah, she just says she left me. So. I just want to see it because I have not seen it. Um, I actually waited for you guys to watch it, but yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. I would have turned my back on you with all the times that you did the things you did. What if I just would have walked out and left you? Hell, what if I would have left out and left left you to die or bleed out when you was bleeding? Okay. What if I would have did it to you? Dude, that's a small curling iron. But none of that's oh, never mind. It looks big. I could, never mind. I take that back. Because it's obvious you don't get the gist of what a relationship even is. Oh, so I guess here's where she gets the text. You didn't want this. You had so much to say about how I disturbed your life. So I removed myself. I was talking to my husband, inventing to my husband about how you played your music and didn't care about anybody else. Feelings, but your own. Yeah, you're right. I talked about you disturbing me. Yes, I did. And? And I was talking to my husband. I wasn't dogging you to nobody in the streets. Well, you kind of (laughs) were. You kind of were when the whole saga happened. You kind of were. But listen, a toxic relationship. Thank you. I appreciate you. And you know that you said you weren't unhappy. No, I said if you were unhappy. Okay, sorry. Someone said that's a that's a hot comb. All right. I don't know about combs, uh, curling iron. I don't know. 
you could leave. I said, leave me if you're not happy. That's what I said. You know I said that. But uh, now you say you appreciate me. You got a great way of showing it, baby. Appreciating me isn't what you did. <laughs> That's not showing me appreciation. Bringing a female to my house, in case you don't know any better. Bringing a female to pull up at my house. When you have a yeah, U-Haul cool. and don't need nobody to help you. Wouldn't even let nobody else help you. That's not need. That's not showing love. It's period. not. None of what we saw via Chosen's Live was, you know, when the whole thing happened. No, it's just very toxic, and it's not showing love. You're right, mate. Thank you, Victoria, for the stars. Star Appreciate party, guys, that. Go. Uh, let me see. Let me see what you read. Uh, you so. Hold on. Where did they go? Okay, you so need to do a podcast with Maybe I know she would be open and honest. I don't know. We'll see. Um, a lot of people are for it. A lot of people are not. So we'll see. We'll see in the future. We'll see what I hope you're happy in a do. real way. You got what you wished. No. Let me tell you what I wished, Israel Ikea Mae Jones. What I wish was that you would... Wait, is that her real name? Israel I. What'd she say? I hope you're happy in a real way. You got what you wished. No, let me tell you what I wished, Israel Ikea May Jones. <laughs> what I wish was that yes, you would love me enough to do better. Oh, here comes a cry. What I wish was you would have cared enough for me like I cared about you to change. That's what I wish. What I, what I wish was that my love was enough for you. For you to give a damn. That's what I wish. And I hope one day that you see that. Not for you to walk away. Not for you to leave. Listen, in my opinion, I do feel like a maybe, um, maybe really love Chosen. But Chosen, honestly, I said it from the get-go. Chosen just seemed there. Like, she, bro, it looks like she was just there for the cash, for the money, bro. There's no, like, <laughs> Chosen would have left like this, bro. Like this. But, um, yeah, I said this from the, a day one. Um, yeah, I, I just wish uh, maybe would have seen this like we all saw. Um, some people are still saying it's it's a scare. I don't think so, guys. I, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> she literally left. Not for you to, to take the easy way out. That's not love. Love don't just leave. Love. I wanted you to change. I did everything I could to show you I loved you. Even when there's stuff I didn't want to do, I did it anyway. Yeah, those are real feelings. Man. Because of something you were interested in. Thank you for the stars. Star party, guys, go. I didn't get what I wished. If I would have got what I wished, you would have treated me with love and respect. And I don't even know why I'm sad. Because you disrespected me almost every day. That's crazy. I guess I was caught in an illusion. Or maybe I just wanted a girl friend to love me and give me what I give them. I thought if I loved you, you would love me back the way I loved you. Uh -oh. But how come I can love you through all your bullshit, but you don't love me through mine? How come? Maybe because you have bigger bullshit. I'm just kidding. No, I don't. I'm sorry. This is not you a laughing moment. Not to feel no type of way. Not to feel used. Not to feel abused. No matter what you did to me, I stood 10 toes down. Okay, so now I'm real, bro, like, maybe he's talking about all this. Like, she, ale Chosen allegedly was um, really toxic and stuff like that. So now, now I'm wondering, remember, let's go back a couple months ago. Remember that video when Maybe jumped on top of Chosen? Now, I'm actually wondering if Maybe was scared for her life, bro. Like... I don't know. That's just a question I have. Like, bro, was she really scared? Like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it was like iconic in the whole <laughs> maybe saga. Um, but yeah, now I'm wondering if if that was real, like maybe was actually scared um, of that, you know, being in that situation. Interesting. Interesting. I stood, I stood 10 toes down for you. You never did that for me. You always oh, come on. She stood ten toes down. 
Bro, it's called Gravity Rug. Okay, you guys, I can't. You guys are too much. <laughs> Switch up when your friends get around. You always act shitty towards me when your friends come and talk to you or anything. Why do I got to be treated bad? Because you got friends. Why when another woman pull up, you you all of a sudden want to be single? But you was just fucking me. All right. <laughs> That's a, can't say that to Facebook, bro. That that's crazy. Why well, I gotta be? I should have told you that she didn't like you or love you. I'm sorry, May, but that you had a lot of signs. You had a lot of red flags. Disrespected every day when I'm just asking you a question. Oh, I'm not allowed to question you. I'm not allowed to ask you nothing. You don't want me to ask you anything. You cheated on me three times, and I still stay. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You see, that's why I'm saying, like, well, you got to be smart in your relationship. I'm talking to everyone here. You got to be smart, bro. If you're going to take back a cheater, just know they might do it again. Just know that. Um, three times. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot to handle, dude. By your side. I never once cheated on you, bro. Oh, I kissed Trey. But I didn't give up this cookie, though. Oh, Would you? <laughs> Not the cookie. Not the galleta. You do. You cheated on me numerous times. Oh, my I God. I still held you down. I still defended you. I still covered for you. When everybody was disrespecting you, I still covered for you. You shouldn't have. You ain't never had the loyalty I had for you. Never. I got what I wanted. If you think that's what I wanted, you have no clue. You had no clue about life. I wanted somebody who wanted to grow old with us. I wanted somebody who wanted to live a good life with us. Yeah, that's hard to find nowadays. I wanted somebody that could actually love me for me, not just my husband. Or the money. I'm not afraid to tell these people the truth. Are y'all? Because I'm not. I'm not afraid to let them see me vulnerable. This is real. This is my real life. Sheesh. Listen, I I feel I I know you guys probably would never think these will come. This will come out of my mouth, but bro. I feel for me, baby. Dude. She's going through it. Um, like I said, I, I strongly feel this is this is real. This is legit. Um, maybe love chosen. Chosen said, "Nah, I'm out. I just love your money and your galleta, your cookie." But wow. Yeah, I'm sad. I spent seven years chasing behind you, making sure you're okay. Yeah, I tell everybody I don't want this shit no more. I don't want the same shit no more. I wanted you to change. And the fact that you play victim just really grinds my gears. It pisses me off. Sheesh. It really does. Because I'm too good of a person, dog. And I don't care what anybody says on social media. That shit, you know, that shit don't matter to me. In real life, you know what's up. And you know I held you down. She's, she's getting angster now. That's oh, that's bro. And then some, some, some of y'all or people were saying that um, Chosen still has her dog. I don't know. Um, I guess if she does, give it back to Maybe. That's Maybe's dog. Um, I don't even know what dog she had. What kind of dogs do they have? I well, actually, I seen Maybe go live with like I think it was bulldogs or something, uh, French bulldogs to be exact. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the other dog Chosen took is. But yeah, that, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. And bro, I'm going to say this again. Chosen was literally just a low life, bro. Just in her room. Chosen, if you're here, yes. What's up? What's good? Um, just trying to keep it a thawi, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know if she was actually doing something. Maybe they did say she was starting her music career, but 
never recorded music. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm a little confused on that. Uh, hello, Cooking with Tony. Glad you're here. Glad you're here for the cheese, man. Uh, the loud ass music. Yes, the loud music, bro. And also, there were, I even said there was kids in the house and kids were going to school, blah, blah, blah. And children just had her music blasting all the time. But that's that with the whole Maybay thing. I don't want to go to more uh, to watch more because it, basically just Maybay hurt, bro. Maybay is hurt. The, that someone she loved, someone she truly loved did this to her, which there was a lot of signs, maybe. Uh, but you know what? This is not the time to, you know, come for you right now. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's get into the next thing I have on this document, because shout out to Pawheads and Drama Plan B, because they they tagged me in this video. And, bro, we're, we're talking about Molly, Molly Golightly. This is uh, I guess she call, she got called a, a Karen at a furniture store, which I'm like, hmm, interesting, interesting. I, I want to watch. I want to see what happens. So I just want to show you this clip before we head out. So, yeah, let's uh, let's watch it. I know you guys are saying the kids are gone, uh, the cat and the kids are gone. Yes, I, I do think they are. Uh, someone said they're going back to California. Uh, so, yeah, so, someone is also saying uh, that Chosen will be back. Bro, if that's the case, man, wait, man. I don't know. Everyone needs therapy, I guess. Um, yeah, so there was some let's just calls watch. Um, back and just forth um, with a, a, a misdelivery this morning. And, um, let me I, let me I skip this. Hold on. With some patience, you're going to take care of you. I'm upset because of how they were treated by the delivery people. Yeah, and instead of delivering, take that out. But you're a professional. You're okay, here. But, you're but you can't talk, talk to, to somebody. And you can't talk to me any type of way either. I'm, I'm not. human and, just and, like and you. I'm being Seisha, we I'm paid for the furniture. They need to come back yeah. and not have it on my lawn. Mm -hmm. Just They could have brought it. They, they left their tools there. <laughs> well, fucking like, Molly. I Just by watching this part, I, bro, she feels in so entitled. She feels so entitled. In my, their tools are in my house. Both of these And women. my furniture... Needs was on the lawn. Thank you, Victoria. Okay. Appreciate that. When you're calling a place, you can't just think that you're going to talk any type of way and expect me to help. Gotcha. But in all fairness, I've been respectful to you, and you've already started correcting me when I've been nothing yeah, but nice. I was trying to explain to you guys earlier on the phone that I don't have no communication with the delivery team, and whoever was on the phone kept yelling over me. I'm not. I'm, I don't deal with that. I don't care about this job. That's great. <laughs> so you don't care about the strap. Bro, people don't know that people behind the phones are actually real people. Like, bro, we go through shit too. Like, I understand. I literally, I just work here. <laughs> like, if you want to, your furniture, or whatever, call customer service, dude. Like, I literally just work here, dude. Relax. A corporate store or is this a franchise? No, you can call and find out if you want. Okay, yeah, I'll be happy to. Right. Would you like the phone? Yes, I would, as a matter of fact. Uh, are you recording? Absolutely. 301 782 3802. And thank you for telling me that I was being recorded. Oh, well, I'm recorded every time I walk in here. Sorry, so. Well, talk to you later. Anyway, hey, I would cancel your, I'd cancel your order. <laughs> All right. Uh, does anyone know who that lady was? Um, hold on. Let me pause it on her. I would cancel your, I'd cancel uh, this lady right here. I don't know who is she another like one of these wannabe YouTubers. I don't know who this is, but yes, the lady behind the counter was very nice. Your order. <laughs> Bull, Bullhorn Betty. Is she on Facebook or or YouTube? Where where can I find her? They hates working. Tag me if you want, well, sweetie. I got stuff. I got to take care of it. Thank you. I don't really. So rude. I don't really We're not being rude. Think that that you're trying to do customer service. You're trying to help you when you're being rude. I so you can call customer out. service or corporate or whoever you want, and you can deal all. with that yourself because that's what I will be doing. I will be emailing corporate customer oh, no, service for you, but you can do it yourself. Thank you. Have a good day. She's not even a big customer. She ain't. <laughs> That's the homeowner. Hi. Hi. Wait, what? So 
Betty, this lady, well, whoever, um, is complaining for, if I'm getting this correct, it was complaining for um, Ms. Molly. Uh, someone said she's a new Justin. What happened to Justin, bro? He was a he was a good character. What happened? Wow. Yeah, and look how you talk to people. I, I've been very respectful to you, man. Yeah, now. I've been on the phone. Girls, bye. Okay, can you leave? Thank you. Goodbye. God damn. Go call one. Whoa. I can call the cops on you for harassing me. You're sitting here recording about some goddamn. I'm I'm being recorded. No, those cameras don't work. Oh, that. No, they don't. I was just waiting so I could ask a question, but he cut in front of me. And because you're done. Goodbye. No, I had a, another question. No, well, I'm not going to okay. answer. I'm not going to answer. You're not going to answer? I don't have to help you. You can call corporate customer service. Okay. So fucking. Oh, interesting. Uh, Justin cut ties. Mo um, hold on. With Molly after she caught CPS on another uh, YouTuber for making videos about her. Wow, that is, bro. Justin did the right thing. That is low for Molly too. What? Just because someone's talking. Oh my god. Let me hold on. Let me vamp. So just because someone's talking to Matt, bro. Keep it between you and the YouTuber. Don't involve kids, especially. You want to get their kids taken away, bro? Listen, this is alleged, right? I'm just reading comments. Bro, that is that is gross. Why? Why do you do that? Bro, uh, she she drives me nuts, dude. Rude. I can't stand when y'all come in here and act like y'all can talk to anybody. I didn't I ha I've said can very you little. Leave? <laughs> I've said very can little. You leave? <laughs> She's acting you nice. I've been nice to y'all all day on the phone. Can you leave? You've never talked to me on the phone. I, are you the homeowner? I, I'm one of the homeowners. Can, I, can you leave? I, I can in a second. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes, kids are God, off limits. Damn. Seriously. Hey, Andrew. What's up, Mom? Oh, so you know each other. No, I don't, but I'm a respectful He's a, customer. He's oh, a good customer here. And I got my Molly don't think like their name, the customer name is on the freaking computer, bro. Like, <laughs> thank you so much for the stars. Appreciate that so much. Wow. My information, I don't want it all on your. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a paying customer as well. Okay, and you're rude also. No, I'm not you rude. Can call not at all. If you want. Not at can all. Can you leave? I can leave when I'm ready to go. I just have. Before I called the cops on you. Goodbye. She should have called the cops for a long time or security if they have any, bro. Bye. Just call the cops. Like, fuck the bullshit. Yeah, God, Lee's <laughs> sitting here recording all up in my face. I can, I can really say something. You're not supposed to be recording me. This now, can tougher. you leave? You're asking me to leave. Kick her out. Kick her out. uh yes i do i'm just reading this it is on purpose to have something to get views on their channel yes bro this is very uh clickbaity slash oh it's gonna give me views i i wanted to know i don't have to answer your questions can you leave damn that lady tall too sheesh molly you just leave just leave what do you mean you know how i am can you leave i don't leave i'm yelling Damn, I hate Karen. Get the fuck Karen? out of here. Karen? Um, <laughs> what's going on? I don't know. They just keep Miss standing here. I'm, I'm, this is good. This wait, is good. He went in front of because me. Because you're done. No, I'm not. Yes, she got is. the customer service She walked line. away. Can you leave? Yeah. No, I wanted the number. You. I, I asked. You the number. You I, I didn't. You telling you the number. Now No, leave. no. I want the number to the delivery service. I'm not giving you anything. I That's all I why can't she just look it up online, bro? Like everything is online. Just look it up. You're just being lazy. You're being lazy. Or call customer service, dude. Oh my gosh. I asked. You <laughs> said that you can't help me because you're not connected to Are the delivery. No, that's my Please. husband. That's my account. How can I get in touch with the delivery? Ma'am, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, how can I get in touch with the delivery? Service. Delivery purpose. All right, I'll check you in. Oh, okay. Thank you for your help. You were very kind. Oh my I'm God. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. She said she hates your job. No one. No. <laughs> they recorded. No one was smart. You're gonna. Did you just say? Did you just threaten me? 
Are you serious? Someone saying this woman will lose her job. I mean, bro, it does suck, but bro, you you have to have you can't let people walk all over you, bro. Especially someone like Molly. She feels so entitled, bro. She feels so entitled. But yeah, I mean, you got to have respect for yourself too. You're not going to let like I said, people walk all over you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I just want the furniture I paid for. No, I, no. I, asked, I wanted to ask you if I could have the number ma am, ma am, to the delivery service. Ma'am, I'll take care of this. Okay. Don't have communication with the delivery service if you're asked to fucking listen. Please. Ma'am. Oh my God. <laughs> now Molly's playing the victim. Okay, we love to see it. Wow. And I get called a Karen? You are. Oh. All right. All right, you want to know something? You need to cancel your start. You need to cancel everything. Cancel don't ever, it all. Don't ever. Well, this yeah. will be blasted on YouTube. YouTube. Oh yeah. You, Walt is okay. my husband. All right. Thank right. you. The, wow. the lady in the behind the counter is still yelling, bro. <laughs> still yelling. I get cool to Karen. She hit somebody. You guys have had a lawsuit out your ass. Just saying. I didn't know they were like this. I mean, they had cute yeah. stuff. <laughs> She's so. This other Betty girl is so annoying, bro. Oh my! I after this, I have to go see what she's about. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> what a face! Whew. Good morning from Chicago, my lightly. Oh boy, we're doing outside now. Okay, so finally. I heard something from good old Ashley Furniture. I have an update for you. Bro, first sit down, catch your breath, and then explain the story. Please. <laughs> Someone says she's high. Yeah, probably. But it's not an update that anyone would expect. Do we know where my furniture is? No. Uh, oh, I got it. A little bit of an update from you said that already the lovely girl behind the counter she spammed the video with comments at about four o'clock in the morning and with a laughing emoji and said she spammed the chat and said that that was the video wasn't the whole video and that we can tell that everyone can tell because of even if that wasn't the whole video bro you you seem like the dumb one in that video the backgrounds and the sound well, no, I think that everyone knows that it was not edited whatsoever. Uh, there was two videos on my phone. I uploaded the first video after. I'm telling you, yes, she's all, I have an update, but let me uh, walk and breathe fucking hard. And that was the less boring. Just remember, I didn't think that she was get the person on the phone because she was a lot calmer. So I ended it. I thought it would be someone else. I actually thought the woman on the phone was the woman that escorted me out. Ta ta ta. So the only thing that I think, I'm saying I think is she thinks it's edited because when i used my iphone to record it i went like this i don't think um it's edited off of this um the the video i just saw i don't think it is i think it, she's maybe actually saying the truth and zoomed in that's why she thought it was edited 
That was not edited. She knows that's the whole thing. But her friend that was behind her had her camera on. Isn't that interesting? So, K-N? in her message to me, which she was responding to Britt, she said, with laughing emoji, she said, thank you for the harassment lawsuit. <laughs> so, like I said in the video last night, I felt bad for her and that I didn't want... That's BS. No, <laughs> she did not feel bad for her. She's lying. Her to get fired or I didn't want to make a complaint. She's or anything yeah, like that's that. BS. No, I, I don't know if she got fired. Uh, and I still don't know where the furniture is. And I actually was thinking that when I woke up, because I thought about it, it kind of kept me awake. Because I, I did think to myself, you know what? After I did that live, you, you really have to be in pretty bad shape to be that angry at work. And to be that verbal and say, I don't give a shit about this job. And be ready to throw down. And like, I wish there was an actual throw down though. Like if this lady behind the counter got fired... Well, she should have just got fired the right way. <laughs> Even and I and I actually meant what I said, like when I said, "Oh man, I would love to get my ass kicked." And <laughs> as she furnished her, like that would be like epic. I, like I wonder what day she works. I would love to go back. <laughs> right. And I meant that. Like I would, I would, I would really, I would take it. Like a trooper. But Molly is scared. <laughs> she is how does that make scared. me look? Well, for, for me, I think that's hysterical. But is that the answer? Absolutely not. But is it hilarious? Yes. <laughs> it is hilarious. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know, I'm just going to take it down. It was fun while it lasted because I was just so shocked. But I don't know anything about the furniture i do know that my husband doesn't want anything to do with it so when i looked back on the video um i can say that the only thing that is not true is where i said i did not talk to you actually so she did i did talk to her on the second call that Andra heard. I can't, guys, sorry. I can't watch this. I can't watch this anymore. Molly is driving me nuts, bro. But wow, I just wanted to show you guys a little a little uh, moment here from Ms. Molly Golightly. If you guys don't know who Molly is, bro, she, there's a lot to, to, this, to this lady. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos on YouTube. So if you guys want to go investigate who this Molly person is, Please do so. Please do so. Um, but yeah, that's probably most of the cheese may I have for you guys today. Um, like I said, it's Monday. Monday, it's it's pretty much on the slower side for me just because I don't have like a full day to prepare. But um, I also saw a comment saying if the supporters get more cheese may than uh, than you guys do. No, um, they just get kind of more of things where I, I like I I basically vent over there. I vent over there and uh, they do get cheese may here and there about other people. I don't really like to give attention on this platform. Uh, but yeah, just uh, an, an FYI. Um, so like I said, once again, you're not obligated because I know people, bro, people make a big ass deal as it is. Like, bro, I consider myself a content creator. I make content, right? Uh, even though people don't think I do. Um, so, yes, I make content over there. I make content here. And, yeah, I just, I don't know. I can't talk about more of the situation because I talked about it in supporters and I don't want to give a, people attention here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Danny, wrap it up. I got a shit to do. All right. Um, yeah. 
Uh, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate that. Um, uh, uh, I know people are asking, like, when's the next podcast? I don't know uh, when it is. Um, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Uh, hopefully we have a date set up soon for I don't know who, who is going to be here. Is it me or the audio is very creepy? Uh, it might be creepy, uh, but it might be just you. Because uh, people did message me and sent me actually screen recordings about people having like my voice sounds really deep on their on their um, on their page on their what's it called on their video on their side of things. But I don't know. It literally sounds like I'm using a filter, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not using a filter. Um, but yeah, it might be that I don't know how Facebook does it. Like, I wish I had filters to make my voice higher pitch. Like, I would do the Cheeseman Report in a higher pitch. But, no, I don't know what's going on. Um, so, yeah, no, I almost, that was loud audio. Is it is it too loud for y'all? I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me all the way at the end of the show. But, um, yeah, I appreciate every single one of you guys for being here today. Thank you guys so much. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any thoughts on who should be on the next episode of the TCR podcast? I would love to know. I would love to read them. People are saying you sound the same. You sound fine. Okay, cool. Um, thank goodness. Because I don't want to sound like a creep the whole show. Because um, when they sent me that, I was like, bro, this is kind of weird. Uh, Cindy says she has heard from you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool. We'll see if we set that up. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you sound fine on my end. All right. Awesome. You sound fine. Okay, life. All right. Thank you guys so much. But uh, yeah, today I'm not, I don't have time to just uh, chit chat with you guys because I do have to pick up my car from the shop. Um, I don't know what the heck's wrong with my brakes. So I took it in to get the brakes looked at. So I'm going to go do that, pick it up. They just texted me. It's ready. So uh, yeah, hopefully guys, um, you know, we watch the replay. Let me know if you if you if you're here for the replay. Hashtag replay. Hashtag Mike Cheese Man. Hashtag all that good stuff. But yeah, we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Uh, for supporters, I might see you guys tomorrow. There's things I need to cover. But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy Monday to every single one of you guys. Once again, I know Monday suck, but when you have Cheese Man, it doesn't suck that much. Uh, drive safe. Thank you so much for the stars. Appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Thank you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.